All right, so they mostly have wall protection, except for that one doorway. You can walk into the building. Oh wow, some kind of a brick wall that's crumbling down over here. Wow. Two points of entry. And actually, if you come into the courtyard, you wouldn't be able to access normally <laughs> inside this building, but I unlocked the door. What's this building? I got a box. Yeah, I doubt this is gonna be unlocked. Oh, my mistake. Huh. So I left that door unlocked. God damn it. All right, so it was in that enclosure on the left. <clears throat> And this, this building, this is all, wow, this is all boarded up and you're unable to access the inside. It's all boarded up. They'd rather have it sitting here, taking up a lot of space. An old hospital, rather than take it down, maybe they still have hopes that can be renovated. A hospital with balconies? Oh yeah. And there's a history sign over here. <clears throat> Alright, it's just a bunch of religious stuff. I'm not too interested. I'm not too excited about reading. Uh, in the past, I've read plenty of his uh, history on religion. and Each is just as boring as the next. So... I've kind of given that up. Looks like a lot. Oh, this is a cafe. Hmm. I just want to check out this building a little closer. Oh, it's all boarded up too. This is kind of boarded up. Somebody smashed through the the door. Oh my God. And the roof is coming down. What a mess. <laughs> Somebody forced themselves in through the door here. And I kind of have to thank them for that. That's pretty nice. Oh man. So this is a farm. It's all boarded up in the front. I think a farm. Looks like they would have kept livestock in some way. All boarded up though. This building next to it's boarded up too. Likely boarded up as well. Something about Ben Franklin. You can maybe see in through some windows. Not easy. Some people, many people have have looked. Okay. Used to be a store. No refunds. No exchange. Eighty percent off. Here's the boarded up out of business buildings I don't want to take down to, oh, I guess I could have walked through that broken do in door and then gotten into the, the yard. I don't know why I didn't notice that. The floor is a mess though to walk through. Yeah, like as nice as this building looks, and I'm not far from uh, the, down, the down buildings. The the uh, electrics there's the electrical meters are gone. Uh, there's three that they positioned, and none of them have meters, so it's been down for a while. All right, I think this is a parking lot for that church. Enter through the back. For sale offers considered. Eight three two two six four five five three three. So, the guy thinks that he has a chance in selling his building.
Oh. Oh. I'll try to read that later. Uh, I think they got to stop this car behind me. That's so cool. Oh man. There's a lot of interesting old buildings here that are just like like abandoned. They just they just have them sit here taking up all kinds of space. Seems like such a waste. Roma is it's really downtown the downtown region, I mean it's it's got a lot of buildings that need renovating. Even this up here. They boarded up everything. It's just a regular house. This isn't even a historical site. And they want to board it up, take up all the space, make it look like it's maybe more populated than it actually is. I mean, these are buildings that would would be able to accommodate hundreds of people, probably. And instead, it's it's like a living museum. Maybe that's their intention on the border in a border town to have like a living museum. And then the gate the gate uh, is here for the for the border patrol. Border patrol coming down from this way underneath the bridge. That's pretty cool. He checked me out too. He had to he had to he had to swing pretty hard though to get around that truck. So he couldn't steer for long. What's that say? Nestor Sayans? Oh man, let's see if I can peek. Anything good? Yeah, somebody may have kicked it. I don't know why else that'd be broken in. Man, I can't. No. I can't reach over that. That's just too, too high. It's pretty neat. They really had a life. I mean, this area was discovered in the 17, or was established in like the 1760s, so it has quite a long history. Yeah, this, this building looks um, abandoned, so I'm gonna walk up it and get an overlook. What was that? That was on the Mexican side. <clears throat> Somebody blew something up. Yeah, see, I believe this building to be abandoned. So you can come up here. Well, what's it say? For sale for a long time. <laughs> Who wants to set up a business on the border? That's a nice bridge. It's an old classic. They're charging three dollars and fifty cents. Pickups? Oh. Tags available. Vehicle and commercial tags available. Five dollars. Cars and pickups. Three fifty.
I've never known a border patrol to charge money. What's the deal with that? I saw those ladies walk through here. Perceptus? Getting hit by radiation. Illegal, yeah, firearms. Yeah, nobody wants to set up a duty free. Yeah, duty free business would be is usually popular. So they keep quite a historical. Uh, set up next to this gate that cost money Mess Massage is too long or font is too big What? Message is too long or font is too big What? It says it right down here <laughs> What a waste of, what a waste of a sign so in front of the gate, it's a one hour parking, no meters. Yeah, business is not thriving on the U.S. side. It's more just a historical place for tourists, tourism, if they dare come. Okay, is somebody selling this stuff on the sidewalk or are they giving it away? I think they're giving stuff away here on the sidewalk. You got leak proof containers. Huh. Oh, yeah. Garage sale? You'd probably do this every day. Uh -huh. Alright, you sell this every day, don't you? Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Selling right on the sidewalk. These are actual products. She just makes them look like they're used. Actual products, not even, probably not even used. Selling them brand new from her, from the sidewalk. All right, migrant seasonal head start. It's interesting. All right, pretty good distance from the main downtown. Heading back to the library. I think I'm gonna go try sitting back inside. I think the aerosol is probably cleared. I gotta say, watching these li li cute little kittens. Why is this not? It's really tempting to want to take one. I don't have any cat food. And I've been thinking I want some cat food and, well, like a motion detector. I was actually talking to one. One meowed back at me, so they're kind of friendly to humans. Total pandemonium at the Rio Grande Walmart. So near this AMC theater, there's this garbage, or several garbage piles. Somebody, and I kicked it away, but somebody actually put a blanket over their garbage. Almost looks like somebody's sleeping. It's, it's a lot of garbage. What's the deal with that? So down a little bit, somebody left up a uh, sleeping bag. So there's some homeless people I think. I don't they're not here now. So the evening of December 23rd at the Walmart walking around I don't know 9 p.m. Nah 7 7 p.m. There was just a crowd of people 
buying and searching and all kinds of stuff. I'm guessing these are last minute type of shoppers. Possibly from Mexico. It might be happening, uh, happening across the country though. So I walk into Walmart feeling a little um, anxious. Just general anxiety. This is just a health a health issue and I just it was mild <laughs> I'm burping up a lot of uh, ferment right now and I just I didn't like that anxiety feel I had I, I woke up and I just walked in I had nothing to consume and I was anxious all the people around and stuff shopping big Walmart um, it wasn't bad it's not like a panic attack oh my god you know you're in you're in bad shape when you have panic attacks. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna drink some ferments because that always calms me down. And I did, and I'm calmed down. So the end of story.